Hi, I'm Paul from The Studio Rats. Today I'm gonna to show you how to set up your guitar amp to get the best tone out of it. Tone is really subjective. One tone by one guitar player might be hated by a bunch of guitar players, but also loved by a bunch of other guitar players. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your guitar amp the way that I like it. The amp that we're gonna be using for this is this Marshall Studio Silver Jubilee. And the reason why I'm gonna be using this amp today is one, because of the wording on the controls and two, because it's got a master volume. And depending how well this video does, I'm gonna do a separate video using a non-master volume amp. I've got my guitar plugged into a pedal, which is off. The pedal's going straight into the front of this Marshall Silver Jubilee. And it sounds like this. Now, for me, this amp is set up far too clean for the way that I like to set up my guitar tone. Now, you'll notice that if I play the guitar really quietly, it's really quiet. And when I hit the guitar, it really jumps out and sort of smacks you in the face. The way that I like to dial in the guitar amp is when I'm playing harder, it's driving the amp, and when I'm playing lighter, it's cleaning the amp up. On the Marshall Silver Jubilee, you'll notice that the first control says input gain. Now, this can be different on different amps. Some amplifiers call this gain, some amplifiers call this volume. On this Marshall Silver Jubilee, it's called input gain. So this basically is how much we're driving the front end of this amplifier. So what I'm now gonna do is to drive the front of the amp, and I'm gonna play the same part. Now you'll notice that when I hit the guitar hard, and if I play it softly, there's not a massive difference in volume, but what we're getting is more tone out of the amplifier. The guitar is driving the front of the amp, and for me, the amp is working at its optimum. Now if I bring it down to my bridge pickup, you'll hear that the guitar amp now is driving, and this is what we call edge of breakup. And that's because the guitar's still clean, but we're getting elements of drive in the sound. For me, this is the ultimate way of setting up an amp, because now, if I put an overdrive pedal in front, I'm using this, this Boss Super Overdrive. If I turn it on. The amp is taking the pedal really well, and it's not a harsh sound. If I now go back to how the amp was when it was really clean. Now you'll notice that there's a massive difference as opposed to it being a nice full round sound. What we're getting now is a spiky sort of top end sound. And that's because the front end of the amp, the first valves, the preamp valves are not compressing. And now let's go back to how it was. I really hope you guys got something out of this. If you'd like me to do a video doing the same sort of thing by using a non-master volume amp, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, I'm Paul from The Studio Rats. If you did get something out of this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Click on the bell button and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from The Studio Rats. I'm Paul and I'll see you next time. Cheers.